Sugar can be sneaky, it's in a lot more foods than we realize, plus it isn't great for our health. So we're sharing some great tips on how you can cut back and keep yourself on track. While sugar in small quantities isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just something we need to be mindful of because those um, sugar calories are non-nutritive calories, so they're not providing any nutrition. Sarah says a good place to start on cutting back the sugar is with your breakfast yogurt. By plain yogurt. And the reason I recommend doing that is because a lot of the pre-made um, yogurts have a lot of added sugar to them. So what you can do is bring your yogurt home. You can flavor it yourself with honey if you like, and I personally love fresh fruit that's in season. Next, Sarah recommends paying attention to what you're drinking during the day and try to choose water most of the time. A lot of the drinks and beverages you can buy right now, the teas and the sports beverages, they have a lot of added sugar and you may not even realize it. Go with water if you can. You can even put a little bit of citrus in your water for a little bit of extra flavor if you need it. And finally, if you have a sweet tooth, make a healthy swap when you're reaching for dessert choose fruit as a dessert. A lot of the desserts that we typically love to eat, ice cream, cake, cookies, all that stuff, will have a lot of unnecessary added sugar. Get an extra serving of fruit in because we all could do a little bit better when it comes to that and just enjoy the natural sweetness of food. And there you have it, some great ideas on how to cut back on sugar in your diet.